Sandy Marrero with Western Marketing. I hope that everybody's morning is uh, going well. Uh, today, we're going to have uh, uh, with us Andy Larson, the Regional Director for uh, National General, and we're going to be going over some uh, benefits of how to bundle and work with National General now that the ACA and open enrollment is approaching. Um, and then uh, we're going to open it up uh, some help, some questions, and go over the, the access to the systems as well. With further ado, uh, Mr. Uh, Larson, whenever you're ready. Well, thank you, Sandy. Appreciate the introduction, and thank you for all of you joining us today. Uh, we are at the doorstep of uh, open enrollment for under 65 and AEP as well, and uh, it's this time of year that. Uh, gather all the information and make sure we're putting our best foot forward for our clients. So we do appreciate uh, uh, taking time to, to understand what NatGen has to offer. So with that being said, uh, as, as Sandy mentioned, uh, you know, we look at it from a standpoint of, of who we are and what we do and the things that we've done. Um, this enrollment is gonna be no different in a lot of ways, but it's gonna be different in a lot of ways. As we know, the ARPA subsidies have made ACA uh, maybe more attractive for some or even more attractive for those that already, already get subsidies, but maybe are getting more of a subsidy. Maybe those that don't qual never, or haven't qualified in the past will now get a subsidy. So there's a misconception though that short-term medical has gone away and that alternative that many have come to know over the last few years. But the reality is, is that short-term medical is not dead. It's just, we have to understand how it has changed and how it still can be beneficial for, for the, a client where it is suited, as we've always said in the past. So in essence, your role as advisor remains the same. When you go down the decision path of what your client's coverage is gonna look like for 2022, um, it's just understanding what those questions are going to be. But with National General, we have the, 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 the solutions, no matter what that core, flavor is, core product flavor is, whether it's ACA or short-term medical, we have solutions that can go for both. And we also have the platforms that can help you succeed. So as you talk to your clients this year, the first question is gonna be which, which path do you go? Are they gonna be looking for coverage because they have a subsidy? They have coverage needs because of health related issues. Maybe they want peace of mind with all the minimum essential benefits. Maybe they're interested in paying more premium even though that they're, they don't qualify for a subsidy or only qualify for a partial subsidy and they're okay with a reduced doctor network. If that's the case, then that's your ACA, ACA client. Now on the flip side, if your client has low to no subsidy, low to no utilization on their health plan, but they want a choice of doctors with a PPO and the potential to pay less premium dollars because of that, that lack of subsidy or even with a little bit of a subsidy, then short-term medical enters the equation and that's the decision that you're gonna have to understand for your client. Now, when it comes to both of them though, the, as we mentioned, the ARPA Act creates an opportunity for you for all of your clients, and that's gonna come in the form of, of, uh, of not only for short-term medical, but for ACA, the premium savings that they may realize. And where you come become that trusted advisor is how will you repurpose those dollars into solutions that, still, uh, that, that can solve the fact that there's still an out-of-pocket exposure, no matter which direction of core product your client chooses. So how do you decide which plan is best? Well, prior to uh, ARPA, typically you would look in that forty-five dollars to $50,000 income range for a single to be that decision point to say, well, my client's getting a partial subsidy, but short-term medical is still 30% less. The reality is the goalpost on that decision point has changed. Today, that might be somewhere between fifty dollars and $70,000, depending upon the market that you're in. This might be more suited toward the individual type client. It seems as though the family, the family demographic is starting to become a little more uh, advantageous with the new ARPA subsidy based upon that 8.5% uh, threshold versus an uh, 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 income factor. So when you look at it from that standpoint, understanding just where to start and where to look for that, uh, that decision point, as you look at your market specifically and kind of do some comparisons, you'll know what, where, where, what, uh, what questions to ask, what is your income, what's your household factor, and then look at it from a standpoint of saying, well, you make 60 to 70,000, I have a couple of solutions for you, let's talk about it. But no matter the road that you choose, whether it's ACA or short-term medical, and this is what we're gonna harp on a lot today, is that the market has never been better for you to sell supplemental in the enrollment period. 
And with National General, we're gonna talk a lot about our, about uh, not only the short-term medical, just do a quick review on what, what might, it might be new or change this year. We'll do a review of products on the supplemental side, talk about some new products or some improvements to products already on the, on the books. But then also we're gonna go into Coverage Builder and show you how Coverage Builder can be your all-in-one tool for this season, no matter if it's short-term medical, supplemental sales, and a little teaser here, even your ACA clients as well. So let's we'll start with the short-term medical review. And quite frankly, the story stays the same. The plans stay the same. A lot, everything stays the same. It's really status quo year over year. And again, just knowing where that where that uh, that entry point might be based upon your client's income, whether it's a short-term medical decision or an ACA. When you look at who our our, our uh, uh, target client is or who our average consumer is based upon internal statistics, you know your average consumer is right in that 40-year-old range. Uh, 60 to 70 percent of those uh, clients are individuals. Uh, so when you factor in that uh, the short-term medical, you're going to probably see a likelihood of more individuals this year than you would families. But I would say that that would probably more of a 80-20 split this year, individuals to families. Uh, average max out-of-pocket ranges in the $7,500 to $10,000 range. Um, predominantly $10,000 when you look at the $5,000 deductible being the most commonly sold, but a mixture of, five, of 5K 100% plans, 10K, 100% plans, very commonly sold amongst uh, agents in the field, your peers. And uh, we're gonna talk about uh, ways that you can structure the policies like our, our, uh, our, our top selling agents do. The plan designs stay the same. If you've seen this graph, we have our enhanced PPO benefit options. Um, the middle bucket is going to be your most commonly sold options. Again, the 5K deductible ranges. And then uh, we do have copay options on the far right for the, uh, when you look at the copay enhanced. Now, when you look at a short-term medical buyer, is they gonna be looking for copays or are they gonna be looking for coverage in the matter of the what if? Um, that's the question you have to ask and balance that amongst the premium dollars that your client is gonna pay. Uh, we still have uh, the strong urgent care benefit, waiving the deductible. Um, so only responsible, to, responsible for $50 access fee and co-insurance. Very advantageous, especially if 100% co-insurance options are chosen, that leaves your client with just the $50 access fee. Term durations have adjusted in some markets this year, but ideally where we can, uh, where we can find it, uh, we are gonna go, as, uh, go full forward with 30 days, and anywhere from 30 days up to 12 months. We are still continuing with our 12 by two with certainty, which means that your client is gonna be issued two 12 month contracts at the same time. They're gonna know at the time of application what those rates are gonna be for both years. So your client's gonna have certainty on that front. We're also continuing with our two and three year renewal plans where they are true renewals. It's one contract and then they will renew year after year. So there's not a level of certainty on that front. If I'm, if I'm advising an agent, if they have 12 by two in their market, I'm advising them to, to go with the 12 by two option because of that certainty for your client. You can extend that runway on a 12, on a 24 month coverage period with the two 12 month plans. And the best part is as the agent, your compensation stays flat for both years. There's no drop at, on the second or third year because of renewal. So the 12 by two is by far gonna be our most popular option for agents because of certainty for the client and certainty for the, for the agent. Now, elephant in the room, is that uh, we've all heard all along with the expansion of ARPA and the subsidies that short-term medical is gonna go away. We've all heard that because Joe Biden was elected that they're gonna be putting short-term medical back to 90 days. Now that very well could be into 2021 or 2022. All, all uh, indications point toward at this point, if they were gonna do it, they would have done it already. So if your client is that short-term medical suited client, it's, it's going to be recommended that you do that element of elongation on the term with that 12 by two, so you can sell that certainty. And that way you can stave off any potential market changes that come with term durations by, by federal mandate. So uh, with that, we can answer any questions that you might have on the side with that, but we'll, we'll continue to move forward with, with today. Now you look at the last thing we'll say on term, term uh, limits though, is that you understand based upon this grid what's and we'll show, share share with this you uh, share this with you post presentation 
that not all states are gonna allow for the 12 month option. Some states are gonna cap you at three months. Some states are gonna cap you at six months. Some states are not gonna allow short-term medical at all. Some states are gonna be very limited on the amount of rewrites you can do. Now, the one nice piece about this or update is that in Kansas, if you write business in Kansas, we will be launching our enhanced PPO uh, in the middle or toward the end of October. And we'll have a 24 month option with the 12 by two available in Kansas as well. Stay tuned for more information coming your way on that. Again, we talk about this with all of our presentations. We're continuing on with the Aetna Open Choice Network, about 700,000 providers and facilities across the country. So if your client is concerned about doctor access, even if maybe ACA is a comparable rate or even just a little bit more, maybe that network is gonna be more important to them based upon their needs. Maybe they travel, have kids that go to college or what have you. Again, everything else stays the same. We're continuing on with our footprint, continuing on with our simplified issue. Next day effective dates, you can actually quote 90 days out today. So if you have your, your short-term clients that you wanna write for one one, you can do that today. Child only remains the same, portability remains the same. So if your client moves, they can take their plan with them. And again, we're gonna continue on with all the other things that we have been able to do with packaging supplemental, and the association pieces with telemedicine, prescription discounts, and everything else that goes along with it. We're continuing on with our single pay. Again, if you do a duration anywhere from uh, 30 days to 12 months, a single pay uh, discount applies if your client pays in full at the time of application. 20% discount, so that can be a significant savings for your client. We're continuing with preferred rates as well. If your client can answer five additional underwriting questions, yes or no, then they can uh, qualify for 20% per eligible adult for preferred rates. Now, if they do preferred rates and single pay, both of those discounts can be applied and your client can realize a 40% discount off of the preferred rate. And in open enrollment, if your client applies for a December or January effective date, we are also implementing an open enrollment discount of 6%. So across the board, 46% savings on the premium are eligible if your client applies for or qualifies for all three premium discounts. So some huge savings can be a great differentiator for many of your clients. If you have short-term medical clients today and they are looking to rewrite them, let's say that they are gonna, uh, their, their uh, effective date is the 15th of the month, you wanna get them on a 1-1 cycle. Um, you can rewrite your client for a 1-1 effective date. And what we will do is, is uh, if you, as long as you check that rewrite box, we will cancel that existing plan as part of the rewrite check process, and then act, and then act uh, as of the effective date of the new plan. So there will be no overlaps. There will be no need for you to have to call in and cancel the existing plan. It's a no-touch, convenient process. And the nice part is we will refund any unused premium from that existing plan with NatGen once that uh, existing policy is canceled and the new policy is in, enforced. So if you are looking to rewrite some policies with NatGen this year, understand that rewrite po uh, a process exists and is there to, be, uh, to help you save time in the enrollment period. But ultimately we always come back to, is your, right, your client right for short-term medical? Short-term medical is not guaranteed issue. It does require underwriting, does not cover for pre-ex, there is a look back period of 12 months from the effective date of the policy to determine if a, 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 a claim is pre-existing. And then suitability, what are your client's needs? Do they have a lot of health concerns? Um, are, they, do they, are they okay with a limited network? Do they qualify for a subsidy? Again, we've talk, kind of talked about that, but ultimately at the end, asking your clients the right questions, know what their risk tolerance is to determine if this is suited for them. Same slide we've been showing for four or five years always under, understand if they're suited. So when you look at it from a standpoint of moving on to the next part and where we feel the time is now is on supplemental. So when you look at the core product sale, many agents stop at the core product sale because they don't want to, they don't want to go past that part. But as the, you take into account our, our top selling agents, they're selling a package, not just short-term medical or ACA, they're selling a benefit package, package with one to two supplemental products built in to help offset that out-of-pocket exposure they face, no matter the flavor of the core product. So when you look at the, again, this slide on ter in terms of the ARPA impact. So when you look at the, at the overall impact of this, on average, 
those that uh, that are in the individual market will realize a savings about 70 bucks a month on ACA plans. So if you're climbing up or go, driving down that road and you go the lane of ACA, the on average it's seventy dollars. Now, depending upon the the level of uh, where your client is at on the federal poverty level, they may see less. They see they may see more than that as you go across the line. If you go across the line, it's anywhere from thirty to thirty seven dollars a month. But when you look at this new group, this new group that is the four hundred to six hundred percent of the federal poverty level. When you look at families, if you're especially if you're looking at families that are going to qualify for huge subsidies. When you look at this, uh, this uh, that the average uh, 400 to 600% is gonna save $213 a month on their premium. The question now becomes, uh, when you look at their situation, how will you be able to repurpose those dollars as a trusted advisor? In the past, maybe they've been stretched out or tapped out or they, you've never had the conversation. Well, now you're able to show them some savings on the front of uh, either they're getting more subsidy than they were before or they're getting a newfound subsidy. So as an advisor, how will you help your client repurpose those dollars? With National General, we have a broad suite of supplemental products that can help solve the, uh, solve the issue, financial protection from high move, cash benefits when your client needs it most. We have a, a suite of accident plans that are 99% are, uh, guaranteed issue. Our plan enhancer is our, our most popular product, which has accident medical expense and riders for hospitalization due to sickness and cancer, heart attack, and stroke. Uh, we have a specified disease plat uh, a portfolio that will be more of a, uh, a cash above and beyond out of pocket. It is underwritten, but will cover specified disease and specified critical illnesses. Uh, cancer, heart attack, stroke especially, um, is going. To, uh, those three events make up 80% of all critical illness events. Very, uh, very widely undersold product considering the statistical uh, of nature of who will uh, contract a, a, diagno a diagnosis at some point here in their lifetime. Hospital expense, we have revamped our hospital expense in many markets and we've also launched a new dental uh, portfolio here this year um, and, and really revamped our dental to add more, uh, more benefit. Day one coverage we'll talk about here in a minute. And then on the senior side, we have a DVH that starts at age 55 plus. So it's all gonna be preference. If you wanna include guarantee issue packages, you look at say like accident and dental, if you wanna get more specific, uh, sophisticated, take a look at underwritten plans such as CHS, critical illness or hospital expense. And maybe you were aware, maybe you weren't, but, uh, to, but one thing to consider also is that you can now with your coverage builder platform, write your favorite ACA carrier. We have loaded all of the ACA carriers and rates into coverage builder, your agent platform with National General, and you have the ability to con uh, contrast and compare whether it's short-term medical to, to ACA, um, or you can even write your favorite ACA carrier through the platform as well. Wherever your contract sits today, that remains between you and whoever that's with. We're, we're not in the middle of that and, and all the ACA uh, questions will be, should be directed to them. We are simply utilizing the, the ability to add those carriers as a service to you to be able to, to write it all in one place and also bundle National General Supplemental all on the same application. Not many platforms out there allow you to do that, but with NatGen, you can now take advantage of those ARPA subsidies write your favorite ACA carrier and bundle NatGen supplemental on the same app. Talk about that more here in a minute, but let's talk about some improvements to our, to our portfolio. So I talked about our, our, our new dental product. The biggest, the biggest piece to take away here is there's no waiting periods on basic and major services, benefits available day one. Uh, we've Im Im improved our network to include the Aetna Dental Administrators Network. Benefits increase uh, year over year. We have vision riders available, and then we have orthodontia benef uh, benefits available on our, our select dental prime plan up to age 18. Now, just as an aside, we also offer a DVH plan that's 55 plus, and that's going to be in swapping out uh, orthodontia for uh, implants and dentures. 
So just to get a, take a look here, as you see, we have on our basic services, we have day one will be half, uh, will be 60% uh, uh, across the board, and or excuse me, 60% uh, day one, and then day one of year two will increase to 80%. And on the major services, you'll see it's 25% year one on our prime, which is gonna, it's just gonna, which it will compete with the market, if not lead the market in a lot of in a lot of locations, and then we'll increase to 50% year two. Again, orthodontia, increasing benefits on the actual uh, annual maximum are going to uh, occur anywhere from uh, uh, th uh, 2,000 up to 3,000 for the max benefit out of uh, uh, benefit, uh, ma annual maximum benefit level. Another piece to point out here is that our plan also has uh, bite wing and full mouth x-rays as a preventive services covered at 100% across the board day one. Now with that, it's going to be differentiating in the fact that a lot of plans might cover that as a basic service. So your client's going to be looking at the, paying a little bit out of pocket on that basic side versus on the preventive for that uh, full mouth x-ray, that, uh, that panoramic one time per year. Again, no waiting periods are, are the big thing. We also offer child only plans, but the, 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 the dental plan has been, uh, from what you maybe experienced last year at this time, has been brought up into the 21st century and especially with that ability to bundle, will make this plan a very, very attractive option to include with all your, your clients' health insurance options because it's the most widely plan used after the health plan. And in addition, if you are selling another national general product, the national general dental will be discounted on the premium by 10%. So another incentive to include national general dental with a short-term plan or maybe bundle with another uh, out-of-pocket protector such as a plan enhancer, or any other product. Speaking of the plan enhancer, improvements on that, we have implemented a disappearing deductible. Now at the time of claim on plan enhancer, uh, in the, historically we've had a $250 deductible at the time of claim for an accident claim. What we are gonna do though, is we are going to decrease that deductible over a three year period. So year one, it's gonna remain 250, Year two, it's gonna to reduce to 150, and then after year three, it's gonna be zero. Whether or not there's a claim, it's more of a loyalty type benefit, that this, that deductible will, deductible will disappear uh, for, for uh, over, over the course of three years if there is an element of persistency for being a that gen client. Now this will occur on the policy anniversary date, and it's only gonna be available to new clients in the following states. And so if you do have a client that's on a plan enhancer today, one thing you're gonna to wanna to take into account for is that if you are going to rewrite to take, into, take advantage of the disappearing deductible, I'd highly advise you to tweak the benefit level or tweak the, uh, the, the census of the, of, the, the, of the policy, the, the dependents and whatnot. Because if you are rewriting a plan enhancer for the same benefit and you're already past the first year, you will only get renewal commission. If you are uh, in the first year of the policy and you rewrite it for the same benefit, it's gonna run out the first year commission and put you on to the, uh, the renewal right away. So if you wanna continue on with first year commission by rewriting it, be sure that you tweak the benefit level uh, of the product. Now, speaking of benefit level, we've added an $8,700 benefit level for 2022. And the plan enhancer, again, is a great plan uh, to offset not only accidents, but hospitalization due to sickness, and then cancer, heart, stroke, if that rider is chosen. But the nice part is you can match the ACA level out of pockets. Again, making this another attractive option for all your ACA clients to be able to help offset that out of pocket exposure. Or you can choose a benefit level that's going to give a price such as a $2,500 accident plan for as low as $13 a month in a lot of markets. In the Florida market, it's under 10 bucks for a $2,500 benefit level. And in the following states, we've also improved our hospital expense plan. And with the hospital expense plan, what we've done is we've increased the benefits on the, uh, on the inpatient and then also on the observation benefit, included an observation benefit to be anywhere from uh, $750 to $2,500 per visit, uh, one per year. And then we've also done a, a, a tweak to where we've increased the emer emergency services and more, more specifically on the air ambulance. So we're gonna have a $25,000 benefit uh, one time per year for a air ambulance. We hear that a lot in terms of uh, things that might be missing on certain plans, um, as far, especially on the, on the short-term plan. If you're uh, working in a rural area or you, your client needs to be life flighted for, a, for an accident, 
or if it's uh, uh, an emergency where they're maybe in a regional hospital, but you need to go from say, um, uh, middle of Nebraska to Omaha to get to a hospital, uh, that $25,000 benefit can be added on with the uh, hospital expense plan uh, in the following states that you see listed here. So those are some of the upgrades. Um, we encourage you to go to our YouTube channel to learn more about the products or schedule time with the NatGen sales team one-on-one -on -one to learn more. Um, but what, what we're gonna talk about now is Coverage Builder as a go-to tool for you for the open enrollment period. And how, do, how is this gonna work out for you? What, what capabilities will you have? First and foremost, you can continue on with your short-term medical enrollments and also your short-term medical with supplemental bundles. So if we're looking at, a, 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 we'll show you in the system here in a second here, what some of those bundles will look like. You can sell standalone supplemental. If you're utilizing somebody else's platform, you can create a package of supplemental plans that uh, can go along with any ACA plan and create that package. So all you're doing is picking, clicking, and, and, and applying. And it can really get, uh, re really uh, maximize your time as an agent by setting up those preset packages and taking uh, care of your clients who are going down the ACA path. As I mentioned, you can look at ACA plans within Coverage Builder. So what you can do as you drive down that drive down that path and you're gonna take the left turn or the right turn, you can actually do that comparison within Coverage Builder to determine which lane of traffic you're gonna drive. And that's gonna help you out immensely. And then there, from there, you can create those packages with the short with uh, the accident, dental, life insurance perhaps, and be able to really help your client make that decision. Whether or not you write the ACA plan in Coverage Builder, you'll have that ability to make that comparison there. And if you need to bump, jump over to your other platform, that's something else you can do as well. But you can also enroll your favorite ACA carriers uh, as, you, as you would normally. <clears throat> Today, the process is set up where it does send you to the, to the, uh, the, uh, uh, the marketplace to apply for the subsidy. You can, get a, you can estimate the subsidy in the system, but we are also in the process of building an enhanced direct enrollment system. So that way your client can enroll, uh, apply for the subsidy um, within, the system, within the coverage builder system and be able to attach these, your favorite supplemental products all on the same application. Your, your, uh, your client will be able to, or you, you'll be able to understand their package, what, the, what, what it's gonna look like based on the package you have presented to them and the enrollment process is gonna be simplified for you as well. So you can have that ability to not only do the core product, ACA or short-term medical, but also uh, bundle your favorite supplemental plans with the uh, ACA. So uh, before we get into the, the next portion, I want to go over to Coverage Builder. And we're gonna take a look at how we can um, uh, manage Coverage Builder here in the realm of a quote. Going to enter in our zip code just like normal. We're going to put in our demographic as normal. We ask for tobacco usage. That's one of the precursors for preferred rates, as is prior coverage. We're going to check our our uh, effective date. Again, you can now quote out for one one effective dates, actually up to January fifth. Going to do a January 1st effective date. Now we're going to show plans. Now we're going to redo this because what you're going to find is that the ACA products are likely not loaded yet for January 1st because the rates just fr quite frankly haven't come out. So I want to show this to you just because if they're if they have that uh, that instance, uh, oh yep, see see here there's zero plans on exchange. So today if you do one one, that's what you're going to find. But if we change the effective date two let's go back to tomorrow just for sake of uh argument now you will see that you have 48 health, uh, short-term health plans to choose from and you'll have 38 health on exchange plans to choose from here so this is the Nebraska market and our association package is optional in Nebraska. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is, okay, well, does my client qualify for preferred rates? You check on that box, read these questions here, and if they can, 
uh, uh, go through this, this questionnaire and say they qualify for preferred rates, you have to check that box, preferred premium, yes. Click update. And now the premium will, will populate with the preferred rates, okay? You have the ability to proceed with a standard rate. You have the ability to proceed with a preferred rate. Now, if we want to make a comparison and say, all right, well, I'm going to look at the uh, $5,000 deductible 80-20 plan with a preferred rate. I'm going to put that in the shopping cart. And then I'm going to look at my favorite accident plan. I have a $5,000 deductible. I'm going to look at the, you know, maybe the $8,700 accident plan with hospitalization due to sickness. And maybe I want to include dental. I'm going to put in our, my, you know, the client says, you know what, I'm, I don't really have much ongoing. I just want to have, uh, um, I want to have my uh, cleanings covered, maybe some basic services. I'm not concerned about orthodontia. They choose a select dental plus. And because they want to, they don't have any life insurance or they don't have a, a, any sort of burial benefit, they're choosing a $11, uh, $20,000 uh, term life insurance for $11. So this is the monthly package for this particular client. That's the premium. So now if we go and look at the ACA, and this is where you're gonna do your comparison. So you'll see here that in this market, there are three different carriers. You'll have, there's one, two, um, well, there's two today, but there will be th three or four in this particular market come uh, open enrollment. So let's take a look at, say, the lowest cost bronze plan. Now, let's just say for a minute that your client doesn't qualify for a subsidy. That's the lowest cost bronze plan on the ACA. This is the, the short-term medical plan with the uh, all the enhancements, dental plan, plan enhancer, and life insurance. So as you can see, we're still almost uh, almost saving 50% overall if your client doesn't qualify for a subsidy. Short-term medical can be a great option for this client if they are suited for that option. But up here, you can put in the income. How is it gonna look? Let's say that this client makes $50,000 and that's only themselves, they're single. We're gonna enter that household income and we're gonna show what that subsidy is gonna look like So now the client gets a subsidy of $212 per month. So with the lowest cost bronze plan, if, if they're looking at that as their option or if they're looking at the, at the silver plans, when you look at a silver plan, it's still gonna be advantageous to do short term. But if the bronze is the direction that they're going, well, now you have a decision to make here. $164 here versus $97 here. So maybe it's that 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 uh, that wedge is is decreasing. Now, even though that wedge has decreased, if they decide that sh that the ACA plan is the direction that they're going to go, they can still uh, they can add they can uh, take you can take the short term medical out of the cart. You can add that to the cart, and now their package is two hundred and fifty nine dollars per month. But if you recall. That initial uh, that initial uh, premium without the subsidy was three hundred and eighty nine or three hundred and seventy nine dollars. So with that ARPA subsidy, now this client can have an ACA package with with the uh, not only the the dental, the accident medical expense for eighty seven hundred, and then if they're hospitalized, the plan will pay eighty seven hundred, and now they have a twenty thousand dollar term life plan all for $120 less than what that standard rate would have been had this been a year ago and they would have gone to shop on the marketplace. So as you can, hopefully you can see here that now you can save your client money with these ARPA subsidies, but also to have the conversation about short -term, or about supplemental products like accident and critical illness and dental and life insurance, because now you have room to have that discussion. Now in this particular market, let's just say that the client makes $70,000. And this is where the tool can help you make that comparison, right? So as we're going through this, well now $70,000, that subsidy has gone down to $62 per month. So we can say, well, 314, now that package is 409. Well, if I remove that and I go back and add that short-term medical plan, with that preferred rate, 
you went from 409 down to 190. Well, now you've saved your client $200 per month. And you now you've looked at a savings of $2,400 over the course of the year. That's uh, uh, that's going to save your clients significant dollars where they may be able to repurpose that elsewhere. And you're still including the package within the of supplemental within the enrollment. So now that's if you're going into this uh, straight up. Let's say you're util utilizing this as a uh, as a tool only to do the comparison, and you want to utilize a platform that you're using today. Well, quite frankly, it's still recommended that you come in here and do the comparison. All you need to do at this point, though, is you're going to say, I'm going to take the short term plan out of the market or out of the shopping cart. I'm going to go to my my favorite uh, platform that I'm using today. And then you just come, then you just uh, proceed with that supplemental package. This will be bundle build. Your client gets a two dollar and seventy cent discount on the dental dental plan because they bundle it with other net gen products. And your client will see a bank draft for their ACA plan and then they'll see a bank draft for the ninety four fifty from that gen. All the while too, consider if you've been writing a heavy amount or heavy dose of short-term medical over the past three, four years, and you feel as though some of those clients will now be ACA clients, understand too that based upon how the income is, is structured or commissions are structured on ACA plans, there's a chance that your commissions are gonna drop significantly as well, going uh, taking your client with ACA. Now, if you're, you're going to do what's right for the client, so obviously that's just the byproduct of it. But when you look at the, the ability to add your favorite supplemental plans at $94.50 per month, and let's take a fact, factor in an average commission annualized, you're going to be looking at making almost uh, my mental math here on a, uh, so that's $94 times 12. That's going to be uh, over $1,100 annualized uh, commission. We uh, multiply that by uh, average, that's gonna be about an extra $500 commission for you if you were to add that, that supplemental package. That supplemental package might pay you more, double, in fact, double more than what that, uh, short, that short term, or excuse me, that ACA commission is going to be. So to maintain your level of revenue and income on your health clients that are gonna go ACA, it's crucial that you include supplemental in the conversation this year. Whether or not their, their subsidy goes from, you know, they're paying $20 today, now they're paying zero, add a dental plan. So that way you can take, in, take advantage of the subsidy savings. And now you can provide that client more benefits. They're already used to paying 20 bucks a month. Get them a dental plan that can help them uh, clean their teeth and make sure that their, their, uh, their oral health is not leading to any uh, future health concerns that, be, that may be more significant down the line. So one thing I wanna show you now here too it, within this is how to set up a package in Coverage Builder. So if you look, if you look at here and you say, um, once you do your, you enter in your demographics, you can enter in your effective date, we show all plans. Now, before we get to, get to the pages that we were just looking at, where where we skipped over, we glossed over, is that before you see all plans or have the ability to toggle, you also have the ability to create a preset package. So, for example, this is a package of our fixed indemnity, Nat Gen access, and a dental plan. We have a package for uh, just someone who wants to sell. Our trio med. If they're an, if you're selling ACA somewhere else and you want to come into this platform to sell our supplemental, then you can utilize this to make a package. What I like to show though is what I call the Nebraska ACA enhancement, and you can build this on your own. It's going to have a suite of all of the supplemental products that we offer from cancer, accident, critical illness, dental, life. So from here, you can create a package um, where you look at it from a standpoint of of you want to look at say I want cancer or excuse me I want critical illness I want dental and I want life you uncheck that box and now that premium has been has been re reset and now you can enroll now and then go to the application or you can click create proposal and send the quote to the client to apply online so the question becomes is okay well I don't like any of these what can I do well you can either customize this or you can click see all to uh, bypass that and go to 
the pages we were showing previously that you'll have the toggles at the top to go from plan to plan to plan to plan and build your package. Uh, you kind of like build your own pizza when you go out for pizza. So question now becomes, how do I create a package? In your settings, you have a, a section that says proposal preferences. Under proposal preferences, you can add a new package and you can say ACA enhancement or you can do short-term medical plus, or you can name it whatever you want. If you wanna give it a marketing spin, uh, get your creative juices flowing. And let's say I'm going to choose, uh, let's say I'm gonna use uh, Nebraska as my state, where it's kind of the zip code we've been running here. And you're going to choose a product to choose. We're gonna look at starting with accident. We're gonna do, or excuse me, uh, we're gonna do accident. You're gonna do AME. And we are going to choose the $5,000 or $8,700 just as the uh, ACA max. We're gonna do the sickness with hospital. We're gonna add dental now. We're gonna add our PPO plan and we're gonna do our prime plan. And we're going to add say our cancer heart stroke, 25,000. And for giggles, we're gonna add a life plan. So now what we can do here, now this we've added this as just ACA enhancement, right? Because we're writing our, our, our ACA through another platform and you wanna come here and create the package. What you can also do though, is you can create a package with all of these products, but also include short-term medical. So that way your, your, your bundle shows up right away um, you have your bundle right there. For sake of demonstration, we're gonna ditch this though. ACA is not available to be created into a package. Um, so keep that in mind. So it's just gonna be for your short-term and supplemental. So we are going to save this. You'll see here that your ACA package, it has accident, life, cancer, and dental. You can view or edit it. You can copy it and rename it, or you can delete it. So now we go back into our platform. Gonna do our demographic, getting a little mundane here, so appreciate you bearing with me. Show all plans. And now we will show that new package that we just created. So now it's loading it up. So you see that ACA enhancement package in here. So what you can do now again is to say, well, my client is only has a budget of, of, uh, of 60, uh, 65 bucks. Okay, well, we're gonna take off maybe the dental plan. They're more concerned about out of pocket. We're gonna take off this and say, Mr. Client, we got you at 82, how can we do this? Okay, well, you know what? I need to get this down to uh, I need to get this down to, uh, you know, uh, 60 bucks. Okay, well, we're gonna customize this package now, see what we can do. We know that these products are important piece to the health insurance puzzle. They're gonna offset your out of pocket. So on the, let's go to the accident side, maybe instead of having that hospital rider, they're just gonna go with accident only. We're gonna take the accident with the sickness out, and now we've got our package down to, we're gonna take the dental out. We're going to take out the, the life. Now we got our package down to $51. So as uh, we've sat here for the last 15, 20 minutes talking about this, imagine yourself having a conversation with your client and going through all of this and making, the, making those adjustments, making the conversation about uh, the, the comparison, and then now also having the conversation about what's the next step, and, and then now you can start pivoting toward the enrollment piece to it. And uh, from there, then now you're, you, from here, the enrollment piece is gonna take you maybe a matter of five minutes, five to 10 minutes. Um, and then also maybe five to 10 minutes on the ACA side, and then you're off to your next client. Now, as we get closer to that enhanced direct enrollment experience, full disclosure, it may not be until middle of de December until we have the ability to write your uh, similar like a health Sherpa, what that experience is. We're gonna have that experience within this platform. 
Um, we are developing ways and instructions on how you can download your book of business from, uh, from other platforms and upload it into Coverage Builder. So one of two things, you can either uh, utilize this platform to enroll your ACA clients and utilize it for supplemental sales as well. Or if you're utilizing somebody else's platform, you can upload your block of clients. So therefore, all you have to do is go search for your contact and then, and then create that package of, of supplemental products so that all you're doing is finding your client, picking the effective date, clicking on the uh, package, and then enrolling. Simple as that. I've hope, I hope that we've uh, you know, given you some, some uh, ideas here today of what that experience could be with National General from a standpoint of looking at Coverage Builder as your home. Um, looking at it from a standpoint that short-term medical is still viable for many of your clients, that the ACA, while it uh, while it's going to be uh, uh, there and then the, subs the subsidies are expanding, the, the, the time has never been better to make sure that your clients have that supplemental protection to help offset them from that high out-of-pocket exposure, uh, things that aren't covered by your health plan, out-of-network expenses, um, experimental treatments, home modifications, you name it. There's a there's a there's a emotional impact to every claim. Let's not uh, allow our clients to have a financial impact in 2022. So with that, how can we find out more? We kind of glossed over product, so I encourage you to uh, look at our YouTube channel, and you'll find anywhere from five to 20 minute videos on our products. Um, we will be doing some more product training here as we get into enrollment. Uh, some 10 minute quick hit uh, webinars that you can take and take advantage of. We'll always send you a recording afterwards. So if you can't make it, register anyway. And then you can also go to natgenhealth.com and look, uh, under the state that you're writing, under agents and brokers and marketing materials, download all the brochures. There are client flyers that are available as well. So you can fill in your information and send out e-blasts to your clients and then also find claim forms there as well. Uh, NatGen is also in the senior space as well, and uh, our Medicare supplement is, uh, is, is taking off in many markets, especially if you're in the Missouri-Kansas market. Um, very, very uh, competitive. Uh, it's closed circuit to serve, uh, areas I service. Um, so uh, we're going to get to questions here uh, in just a second, and I'll let Sandy moderate that. But um, if you have any questions after today, we don't cover them on, on the Q&A portion, you can always contact me. Uh, contact Sherry Blackwood as well, our under 65 sales manager for individual products. And if you are interested in any of our senior products, you can contact Chris Neek on our sales team as well, uh, or myself, and we can help you uh, with any, any, any questions you might have on our Medicare supplement, senior DBH, or senior indemnity product that we just launched predominantly in the Southeast states. So with that, I do thank you for your time. Hopefully you've taken something back and, and uh, to ponder for what your uh, activities are gonna be in open enrollment. And I uh, do wish you all the best. And uh, Sandy, I'm going to turn it back to you. Thank you very much, uh, Andy. That was a great, great presentation. I, I hope that I can get a co I'm going to get a copy of this so I can actually send it to everyone that was participating on the webinar. But it is a very interesting concept of uh, the coverage builder and how to bundle and 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 is very, very transitional. To, to get that ACA plan embedded in the system so you guys can actually uh, have the two of the, uh, of the, good, the, the two worlds all together. So it's very good. Uh, one of the questions I had or they had was that um, on the ACA, they say that there are some carriers that come, come up with a dental plan. Is it better to get the dental plan on the ACA to bundle it with this one? My answer to that was these typically are more rich benefit plans uh, with National General. So it's recommended uh, to utilize this, this benefit uh, uh, as well as the accident and term product that you don't have um, on the other uh, platforms. Do you have anything to add to that as well uh, on, the, on that type of uh, yeah, I would plan? Just take it yeah, for as far as far as our dental is concerned, uh, I would I would just say that uh, you know, do your do your homework on it and understand that if there's any waiting periods, any any sort of uh, uh, coverages of the you know what's covered under a preventive service. Uh, there's flexibility on our our plan where you know as low as uh, seventeen dollars per month, sixteen dollars per month. Um, we have a plan that's just going to cover 100% for the cleanings, and if they don't need uh, major services at all that's gonna be an affordable plan for many of your clients. And then uh, 
you know, you can go up the ladder, you can include orthodontia in that up to age 18. For that first day coverage, 25% on major services is a, a benefit that you want to make sure that uh, as you do comparisons, uh, take into account for. Great. With that, I, I'll thank you very much for participating on the webinar. Thank you, Andy, for uh, giving us the opportunity to hear from you again. And uh, um, like he said before, you can all, always reach out to one of his team members, or if you have any specific questions that I can answer, you can also contact me, and we'll be more than happy to walk you through the systems as well on a one-on-one -on -one if you need more uh, training on that. With that, I thank Andy for his time, and um, I wish you guys to have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you all. Best of luck this enrollment season, everyone.